The best way to create 3D text in Photoshop is to get yourself a fresh new project. You can set it to 4K or 1080p, it doesn't really matter, but you just want to click on create. Once you've got yourself a fresh new project, we're going to create a solid for the background. And for me, I always like to have this nice orange color. Once you've got yourself the background, you want to get yourself the text tool, get yourself the color. So we're going to stick with a white color. I'm going to set the font size to 300. And the font that I'm using is called Adobe Clean. You can left click on the screen, type in your text. We're going to go to the first tool, Control or Command and A, and then center align it to the center of the screen. From here, once you've got yourself the text, you want to duplicate it and place it underneath your text layer. What we're going to do is we're going to either right click and go to blending options, or you can double left click and you want to set the color overlay to the same as the background, but you just want to turn down the brightness. So we can bring this down to around 50%. And then from here, depending on the direction you want the 3D effect to be, whether it's down or bottom left corner, you will need to press Control, Alt, and T. And then from here, using your arrow keys on your keyboard, you would either press down or down and left if you wanted to come down into the bottom left corner. So for me, I want the 3D effect to go down. So I'm just going to press the down key, press enter. And now you want to press Control, Alt, Shift, and T. You need to do this a few times, and this will create duplicates which will give you this 3D effect. So for us, we need a, at least about 60 or 70 copies for it to look really good. Once you've got yourself all of these copies, we're just going to go all the way down to the bottom, hold in shift, click on the bottom one, and then group it together. You can now edit this group if you want to. You can always change the color to anything else in here. And then we can also get ourselves a smooth effect on the text by double left clicking on here. And if you wanted to get yourself a bevel and emboss, you can set it to inner bevel, smooth, 115 for the depth, 32 for the size. I've set mine to multiply and 16%. The brighter this is, the more aggressive it's going to be. And then finally, the very last effect is to select both of them, duplicate it, and then we're going to convert it to a small object. You can then place this underneath all of your layers, double left click, and get yourself a drop shadow. Now for the drop shadow, I've set mine to 90, distance to 36, 28 for the size, and for the contour, you just want to set it to this one from the default one. And then if you left click on here, you can ramp this all the way up, which will make it more aggressive. And I've set it to 10% for the opacity. And that's pretty much it.